Hello everyone. So in this presentation, I will present uh, some uh, preliminary results from our lab, uh, where we investigate the impact of epigenetics in fish domestication. Our uh, primary focus is to identify candidate epigenetic markers or epi markers, investigate their impact on somatic growth, uh, validate and create epigenetic uh, quantitative trait loci for advanced trait selection of uh, superior phenotypes. Um, um, for several decades, aquaculture industry has uh, heavily invested in breeding programs designed for optimal trait selection and genetically improved breeds. Uh, however, genetic changes can be detected after several generations under captivity. Uh, here, we investigate the impact of epigenetics and particularly DNA hydroxymethylation during the early stages of, the, of fish domestication. So fish domestication uh, for both ornamental fish and fish used as a food resource is associated with early and rapid molecular adaptations, which reflect changes in both behavior and uh, phenotype. For example, nitilapia selected for growth in captivity can gain up to 70% in body mass per generation for, from the very first generation. And as we all know, uh, in agriculture, uh, the size really matters. So the question here is uh, which mechanisms are involved in the early stages of uh, domestication? Since these uh, changes cannot be explained solely by genetic mutations, we hypothesize that the genetic modification, modifications potentially play a critical role in phenotypic divergence. So to shed some light on it, uh, we use the reduced representation hydroxymethylation profiling uh, in order to create the five hydroxymethylcytosine maps at the nuclear resolution. Uh, five hydroxymethylcytosine is an oxidative uh, derivative of five methylcytosine, as you can see here with red. Uh, and here you can see the hydroxymethylcytosine. Uh, in the past few years, it uh, has been shown to play an uh, important role in uh, gene transcription, alternative splicing, non-cloning RNA activation, uh, embryonic development, as well as uh, aging, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. After the successful breeding of our uh, wild generation in captivity, we obtain a full sibling uh, family, uh, which is here called as F1. Uh, with large differences in size. In total, we sampled five small and five large sized full sibling females. All females were five months old and sexually mature. For the RRHP uh, library preparation, we extracted DNA from liver, uh, prepared the library, sequencing was performed on an uh, Illumina uh, Nexus 500. The reads were bioinformatically processed and the analysis revealed differential hydroxymethylated genes at single nucleotide resolution. So here you can see uh, the, uh, the, difference, uh, the differences uh, both in weight and length among the large in blue and small in green color, uh, this uh, group, uh, group surface. Um, and here uh, below, you can see the high levels of DNA hydroxymethylation. Uh, they also reflect high number of fragments, of uh, library fragments, so the four sequencing reads. And uh, here you can see that uh, large individuals had significantly higher levels of DNA hydroxymethylation compared to the small sized individuals in uh, green color. And here we have used uh, uh, circles to visualize the DNA hydroxymethylation levels across the 22 uh, linka linkage groups of the Nile-Tilapia genome. So once again, the green bars in the inner circle represent the DNA hydroxymethylation levels for the small-sized individuals, and the blue bars in the outer circle um, represent the large-sized individuals, uh, respectively. In total, uh, we identified 2,677 uh, differentially hydroxymethylated cytosines between the two groups, out of which 2,237 were hyper and 440 were hypohydroxymethylated in the large group. 
uh, by annotating differential hydroxymethyl levied cytosines uh, for both genomic uh, CCDGs and differential hydroxymethyl cytosines. We identified that uh, differential hydroxymethyl cytosines were particularly enriched within introns and exons and depleted in intergenic regions. Overall, uh, you can see here on the right side, 80% of all uh, differential hydroxymethyl cytosines were located within genes and promoters, promoters, as opposed to intergenic regions. These findings support the notion of their transcriptional significance. So here, uh, over 80 differential hydroxymethyl related genes were both directly and uh, indirectly associated with somatic growth. Uh, check analysis revealed several pathways uh, also directly uh, associated to growth, uh, such as the PI3K signaling pathway, which is involved in cell growth, glucose metabolism, cell survival and progression, as well as the protein digestion and absorption, focal adhesion, and uh, regulation of active cytoskeleton pathways. So, it is well known that growth is a highly polygenic trait and affected by genetics, epigenetics, and the environment. Although we were unable to identify additive genetic effects due to our small sample size, we have used the RRHP dataset to identify fixed single nucleotide polymorphisms between the two groups. Searches for fixed SNPs either close or uh, close to or within growth-related genes could not explain the differences in size between the large and small individuals. The incorporation of genetic markers in the brain nucleus could potentially improve current practices in train selection and optimization of them. Uh, so to summarize, uh, epigenetic regulation plays a key role in domestication and phenotypic plasticity, but the underlying mechanisms are poorly understood. In this study, we showed that DNA hydroxymethylation levels are significantly different between large and small sized full sibling nitrilapia. DNA hydroxymethylation is positively correlated with growth. Uh, differential hydroxymethyl cytosines occur primarily within genes and promoters, which supports the notion of uh, them being uh, functionally relevant. Several uh, differential hydroxymethyl cytosines were identified within growth related genes and genetic differences could not explain the observed phenotypic divergence. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, if you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to either contact me at the email you see here, or um, at the conference here below. Thank you.